Forget April Fool's Day, because today we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, unexpected, true facts about the greatest hoaxes of all time. Number five, the War of the Worlds. On October 30th, 1938, a truly shocking radio broadcast hit the air. Aliens from Mars had landed in New Jersey and were attacking humans while the army fought back. Of course the story wasn't real. And in fact, they even said so at the beginning of the broadcast. It was a radio performance of H.G. Wells' famous novel, The War of the Worlds. Apparently, the play was so realistic that people who tuned in after the show started believed it was actually real, and mass panic and frenzy ensued. The New York Times front page the next day read, Radio listeners in panic, taking war drama as fact. Many flee homes to escape gas raid from Mars. Not exactly a snappy headline, but still. It launched the career of Orson Welles, one of the great American filmmakers, and probably turned at least a few radio listeners into lifelong conspiracy theorists. Number four, the alien autopsy hoax. In 1995, a man named Ray Santilli claimed to have footage filmed by the U.S. military in 1947 of a UFO incident at Area 51. He set up a screening for the press and showed them the freaky footage. It included an autopsy of the alien and footage that was supposed to be the wreckage of the alien spacecraft. In 2006, Ray Santilli announced that the film wasn't entirely real. A few frames were reconstructed, according to Santilli, because the actual film rolls had been destroyed by heat and humidity. Convenient. Santilli admitted that a set was constructed in the living room of an empty apartment and two alien bodies were made with sheep brains, chicken guts, and knuckle joints. So it sounds like maybe they faked more than a few frames. Number three, the Great Moon Hoax. Back in the early 1800s, journalism ethics were still evolving, let's say. Newspapers in those days would regularly make up stories in order to generate more sales, but possibly the most overt example also happens to be the most hilarious example. In 1835, the newspaper The Sun published a series of six articles called Great Astronomical Discoveries. The articles detailed the discovery of a civilized colony on the moon. But this wasn't any moon colony. The article claimed that a powerful new telescope could spot plants, unicorns, beavers walking upright, and even winged humans. But it didn't end there. It claimed that the moon creatures collected fruit and built temples out of sapphire. Even though the hoax was immediately disproved, the American people liked the story and it created quite a buzz. Papers around the world reprinted it, and there was even a play written about the angelic moon colony. The article's author did finally come clean. Five years later? So while the story was never remotely true, you can see why it was such a sensation, since walking moon beavers would be totally, completely awesome. Number two, the Cardiff Giant. While workers were digging a well in 1869, a giant 10-foot tall statue of a petrified man was found. And where did the giant come from? It was made by a man named George Hull after an argument with a minister about a biblical passage that implies giants once lived on Earth. Hull purchased a 10-foot long block of gypsum and hired a stone cutter to carve it into the shape of a man and stain it to make him look old and weather-beaten. Hull had the giant buried, waiting for a year to pass then hired two men to dig a well in the same spot. The dug up giant was put on display and drew huge crowds. It also attracted the attention of P.G. Barnum, who tried to buy it. Barnum had a model of the giant secretly made and put on display, then claimed the Cardiff giant was a fake. Hull took Barnum to court, where it was revealed that both giants were fakes. And that was that. And finally, our number one craziest hoax of all time, the Turk. The Turk was a chess playing machine built in the late 1700s. It consisted of a cabinet full of machine parts and an automated robot designed to look like a Turkish man that could play and beat almost anyone in chess. Starting in 1770, the Turk's creator, Wolfgang von Kempelen, would show off his invention in the royal courts. He began by opening the doors and drawers of the machine, allowing the audience to inspect it. 
When they were satisfied, the chess game would begin. But since this is an episode about hoaxes, you've probably already guessed that everything wasn't what it seemed. The robot was actually an illusion that allowed a human chess master to hide inside the machine and control it. Since the man inside the machine was a skilled chess player, the Turk would win almost all of its games. The Turk toured around Europe and the Americas for over 80 years, defeating the likes of Napoleon and Ben Franklin along the way. Not too shabby. Well, there they are, five of the greatest hoaxes ever pulled off. And now time for honorable mention. Whoa, well, hang on there, Sarah. Before you get to that honorable mention, I just want to let everyone know that you can watch even more Five Facts hosted by Sarah Rowe and Josh Carlin by watching DreamWorks TV on Go90. Just click the link below to get the Go90 app on your smartphone or tablet now. Always ask your parents' permission before downloading anything from the internet. All right, Sarah, back to you. On April Fool's Day 1957, the BBC ran a story about how robust the spaghetti crop was because of the disappearance of the spaghetti weevil. In 1969, Rolling Stone ran an article about a supergroup featuring Bob Dylan, Mick Jagger, John Lennon, and Paul McCartney called the Masked Marauders. The band, of course, never existed, but the author actually hired musicians to record an album for the fake band. A man named Lau Zapato created a website about how the Northwest tree-dwelling octopus was sadly going extinct. Even though we all know octopi don't live in trees, 25 out of 25 tested middle schoolers fell for the hoax. Tune in to DreamWorks TV for a new Five Facts episode every week. Thanks guys, bye!